Okay, hello, hello, hello. All right, I wanted to share this today because every day this is part of my routine to um, go over my dreams and goals. And your dreams really are something that you want to share only with very few people. Um, and only people that you know will absolutely support your dreams because there's a lot of dream killers out there. There's a lot of people that will say you can't do things, but it's really a reflection of what they feel that they can't do. So um, I'm very careful about who I share my dreams with. But these are all goals. What, what you need to do is once you have your dreams, you break, you break down action steps. You know, you don't need to know every step to get to your dream. You just need to know what the next steps are and take them. So I like to do, the science has shown like if you take, if you write down goals, the likelihood of them coming to pass is so much higher. And um, recent studies show that Americans, only 3% of people write down their goals. And of those people, it's a tiny fraction, like 5% or less to actually review their goals daily. So you need to make that a habit to succeed. You have to like break your goals down into 90 day increments or short term. I like to use 90 days. You can do a little bit more or less, but not too far out in the future. Certainly not longer than like six months um, and break them down and then um, document them and, and do your daily action steps. So um, I'll give you an example. Like these are, I like this software, LifeTick, because it allows for this part of the dream building. Um, I have all these trackers. So I already did this today. I did my scripture study. I did my meditation. I did my morning prayer. And then now I'm doing my morning priority in journal. So I will do, I'll write down the top three priorities for today for me. Is my name is Scott Harris. <laughs> Just listen. This is my wife, my son, and my one on the way. I lead an organization called Charity Water, and our mission is to bring clean water to everyone on the planet. I live in New York City now, but I didn't always. All right, so those are my top three. And what I'll do is I'll I'll work on number one until it's finished. If I if that's all I do today, that's okay, because it's my top priority. So I, you know, if I finish it, great. If I, I'm, I'll move on to number two. But I always focus on getting number one done, no matter what. All right, and then I'll write down like gratitude, things I'm grateful for. Um, and then just use this for journaling time. These are tasks that are all associated with my goals. So each of these goals, for example, this project, um, this is for helping military veterans and people coming out of prison um, work through their PTSD through using photography. And so I'm working on this project with Alex and these are all the tasks that are associated with that project and timeframes for completing them. So all of these different tasks um, show up. And the beauty about this is as you work your way towards a goal, you may not even know all the tasks that you have to take, but you're going to be able to figure out the first steps, even maybe just the first step. And as you work towards that, the next step will come and the next step will come. So, but you have to have a, you have to have a, a systematic way to, to track these things and to review, you know, review your goals. So, um, I have, you know, I, I, I build these things out and I build out what needs to, now, for example, this one, I need to add a task. Um,
So I already have somebody lined up for that. So I'm going to make that do tomorrow. Um, let me check mark. See, now this one, hmm. I know I need to... I need to ask... Morning. I need to ask... Um, for help on this. So, I'm going to put that down. Ask my social media manager how to do this. And I'm going to ask, I'm going to do that today. So sometimes I don't know exactly the next step and I'll just say, okay, well, who can I ask, you know? But there's always a step, always, always a step that you can take. So whether, you know, this has full journal um, and has every everything that I need. The thing about I love about this for the goals in particular, if when you add a goal, is it uses the SMART process for creating the perfect goal, which is specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time specific, time bound. You have to have, you have to create time. To, you have to bind your goal to a time frame, and this is beautiful. It has it all designed here, ready for you. And I like to do this on my laptop, not on a phone, because I don't like to sit there and try to write in my journal. So, like today, what I'm going to finish now. I'm going to cancel this, but now I'm going to go back to my dashboard and I'm going to start writing in my journal. So whether you use this tool, Life Tick, or you use another tool, you need to get a specific tool where you can write everything down, you can track it, and you can review it. This is the most important thing. Just take 10, 15 minutes every day, do your journaling, review your goals every single day, and that as you do that, it becomes real because... To manifest something, you have to first manifest it in your mind. It has to become real to you in your mind. And that's why I always say when you're doing your incantations and your, your affirmations, you speak the truth into existence. You speak as if. You experience it as if it's already happened. You don't say, oh, you know, I'm going to do this. No, you you're like... I am traveling the world. I am, you know, you, you, you use I am specifically, you say that, and you do it in the present tense. And as you do that, that's when things become real. You're speaking the truth in advance. That's what you're doing. That's all you're doing. Because everything that's been created is first created in the mind. You have to get it, your, your mind, and especially your subconscious, to believe and to understand that this is happening. And then your subconscious, which is what controls a huge majority of what we do, then it gets to work. So this is the process. I love doing the journaling because this is where I'll dream build and go through it. Like I'm gonna do that right now. So hope this is helpful. Um, go ahead and subscribe and send me any comments or, or anything that you'd like to see in relation to manifesting your desires and I will I love to get your feedback and I'll make you uh, videos on how to do it